Hello, today I'll be showing you on how to create them on ArcGIS using your XYZ data. After launching your ArcGIS map, the first thing you do is you come to File and then you click on Add Data and select Add XY Data. Then you select the file location where you save your data, the data you want to add to the to ArcGIS, the XYZ data, you select the folder where it is and select it, then you click on add and you change this field. Since you are importing your XYZ, you have to change it and make sure it's on XYZ, not only on XXY or XSX. Then after that, you set the coordinate system for, for the data. You, since you already know your coordinate system, you set the coordinate system for it. Then you click OK. You can show it to view the coordinate system. And then you click OK. OK. Now the XYZ data has been added to the map. The next thing you do is you right click and then you click on data then you export the data click on export data then you click ok yes then after that you click on zoom to layer and then you remove this Now the next thing you do is to come to file again or you can as well you can as well click on this icon here to add your boundary data to to add to add your boundary to the data your perimeter boundary you have to add it to the data so you select where it was saved and add it then you click OK now the boundary has been added to the data so the next thing you do is to you zoom you come to the previous one and click on zoom to layer the next thing is to create a shape file for your work in order for you to create a shape file you have to locate your catalog so you come to this place you click on catalog then where the file was saved on your on your system either your document or your desktop anywhere you save it you have to select right click on that location and then you click on new and place it on shape file then you create a shape file for that let me give my shape file name s h then i'll change the feature type to polygon and then i will set a coordinate system for that and click ok ok now a shape file has been created for my for my data the, the, now a shape file has been created for my data then after creating shape file the next thing for you to do is you right click on the shape file that was created and then you come to edit features and then you click on start editing then you click this continue after clicking on start editing you have to bring in your create features in order for you to be able to view the shape file that, that was created now you click on the shape file sh then you click on polygon then you digitize your your data you digitize it digitize the boundary
Then after digitizing your boundary, you have to right click and click on finish part. Then you right click again and click on finish sketch. Now you come to editor and click on save edit. Then you click again on stop editing. Then after that, you click on this shape file that was created on this boundary, this small square. It will pop up this, and you click on allow, and change the color. You change the color. Then you click OK. Then after that, you click on this, and click on zoom to layer then you remove this the next thing is to create thing in order for you to be able to create thing you locate your add to boss you can see the icon here then you click on it then you come to 3d you click on the plot beside your 3d analyst tools you click on the plus beside your data management then you click on the plus beside scene and you click on create scene you right click on it then you click open then you select this you click on this folder here and select where your where you have your team documents and give it a name Let me give it team new. Then I'll click save. And you set your coordinate system, the data coordinate system, and click OK. Then you click on this more array and select it. Then you click OK. Now the thing has been created. So the next thing for you to do now is to right click on the thing that was created and you click on properties. Then after clicking on properties, you come to symbology. Then you select the number of tables that you want to show on your legend the number of colors that you want okay like i want to use for so then i'll edit this zero to minus minus two you edit how you want it to display minus two four minus four minus minus six Then you click apply. Now you can see now it has reflect here. Then you click OK. Now I've changed the elevation pattern now. Let me right click again and give this change the color for this. You can change the color that you want. You can change the color and uh, use any color of your choice. You can see, let me change the color here. Okay. 
now you can see the color has been changed you can give it the color that you want to use then after that you come to this place you click on layer layout view after that you click on layout view after clicking on layout view you click on file and you click on page and printer setup page you click on page and print setup then you click on landscape and on, on check this use printer paper settings and then you change the standard to rcc then you click ok now you move this to you recenter this you recenter this click on zoom to layer then after that you have to you can bring in your what you want like legend you select your legend you select the name of your legend you know it was you select your legend and click on next is loading then you select what you want if you want your legend if you don't want it to be have a border you select it but if you want it to have a border you select this you click next next select what you want the title you can edit your legend uh, appearances here then click on finish then you can see here is my legend the next thing is you can bring in your not arrow Then you click OK. You're not a rule. Another thing is you can bring in, you can bring in the title, title for the you can give it a name you can give it a title name let me give it let me give it pass a then you move it here and you can edit it you can rescale it here change symbol then you give it size and then the format the format that you want you can also change the color let me give it okay. and click ok apply ok another thing is you can insert your your scale bar you can insert skiba. Let me use this. Okay. 
Ich bring die jetzt Kieber. Then you can edit your skiba. From format. Apply. Reduce. Apply. Apply. Now you can see another thing is your skill test. Can let me use this little cookie. I give it the skip tails of your choice. Now we have it here. That is how to create a demo on our GIS. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell for more videos on our GIS. If you want to export if you want to export this, you click on file, then click on export map. Then you select the location where you want it to be exported to and give it a name. Let me give it them. I select the type of files that you want it to be. Let me leave it as P on PNG. Let me save it as PNG. Then I will click on save. Now it has been saved to my desktop. You can see this is it here. That is that. Thank you.